So we've heated the rear quill bearing and put it on, heated it at 250 degrees, and held it on because it's loose, of course, until it shrinks. And now they're putting the rear quill collar on, and then they're going to torque these 12 bolts, and these are the bolts with the wires in them. They're going to torque these 12 bolts to 58 foot-pounds, or I think it's 58 or maybe it's 60 foot-pounds. And when you do it, that's going to seat these bearings, these, ta these tapered bearings. So we're going to torque them and torque them and torque them. We're probably going to torque them a minimum of three times. And we're going to start as a star pattern for the first couple. Top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom. And then eventually we'll get to where we just go straight around and around like a clock. But for the first couple of torques, we're going to do it in a star pattern and pull this in. So as soon as he gets these set, he's going to start running that torque wrench. That bearing's still a little bit hot, um, and that'll make everything pull up and pull together quick. So the trick here is having all your wrenchers and whatnot ready, and then having a good man like Steve run the wrenches. So here he goes. He's going to torque. And again, this is a rear quill bearing we're working on. We really prefer not to run an impact on this because an impact can get it too tight too quick. We'd rather do it by hand. I'm going to stop the video here. <laughs>